Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos. Corn chips is not polite to smack your lips. But you can't help it with Fritos. Corn chips, munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos. Corn chips. Hello, and welcome back to Brand Management, the show that explores the history of your favorite brand mascots. Today we take a look at Fritos mascots. In 1932, Charles Elmer Doolin was looking for a new salty snack to sell at his family's confectionery in San Antonio, Texas. Doolin came across an ad by Gustavo Olguin, a Mexican cook who was looking to sell his recipe for fried corn chips. Doolin purchased the recipe and a list of clients for $100. Doolin worked with his family to perfect the recipe. They named the chips Fritos. Fritos were a hit, and within a few years, the family had plants set up across the nation. Hold it, ma'am. It tastes better with Fritos. Get Fritos. In 1952, Fritos gained their first mascot in the Frito Kid. The Frito Kid is boss out here, he's traveled far and wide. And he knows any food tastes best with Fritos on the side. Fritos on the side. The Frito Company was an early investor in Disneyland. Shortly after the park opened in 1955, it featured a Mexican food restaurant named Casa de Fritos. The Frito Kid took up residence in this new restaurant. A large statue of the Frito Kid stood in front of a mountain display. When guests inserted a nickel, the kid would call out to an unseen miner named Klondike, who would slide down a bag of Fritos to the guest. A partner of mine wants a bag of Fritos, Klondike. Any more left? Sure thing, Frito Kid, and plenty more where these came from. During his time at the park, Disneyland sold a variety of Fritos merchandise. This includes such items as mugs and figurines. The Frito Kid could also be found on matchbooks, comic books, and a book of party ideas for kids. The Frito Kid was retired in 1967 and wasn't seen again until 2007. When he appeared on bags of Fritos, celebrating the company's 75th anniversary. In 1967, the Frito company worked with advertising firm Foot Cone and Belding to create a new mascot. They created the Frito Bandito. The character was designed by legendary animator Tex Avery. He was given his voice by Mel Blanc, who is known for his Looney Tunes characters such as Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and Porky Pig. Uh, now that's not your actual voice, is it? No, I have a very deep voice. <laughs> do you, uh, do you, re do you remember the first, uh, voice that you did? Yes. I do. I remember the first voice I did. Now that's oh, your so real voice right there. This is my it? real voice, yeah. yeah. The first voice I ever did was this. That was a, I don't remember it, but that was the first yeah. voice. I am the Frito Bandito. The Frito Bandito was depicted as a Mexican revolutionary stereotype, with the tall sombrero, a handlebar mustache, and twin pistols. In commercials, he would travel around robbing people of their Fritos often at gunpoint. In 1968, the National Mexican-American Anti-Defamation Committee was created. The group was concerned about a growing number of negative Mexican stereotypes appearing in media. They pressured Frito-Lay to stop using the Frito Bandito in commercials. Frito-Lay refused to drop the character, citing sources that claimed 85% of Mexican-Americans liked the Frito Bandito. Frito-Lay did work to make the character less offensive, though. They cleaned up his appearance and made him a more friendly character. The softened Frito Bandito stuck around for a few more years, 
For a while, he could even be found as a pencil topper. It erases anything you draw. You, oh, oh, <laughs> the Frito Bandito eraser is a free gift from the Frito Bandito. He made a trip to the moon. Oh, I am the moon parking lot attendant. He even once tried to rob Gotham's very own Chief O'Hara of his Fritos. Stealing Fritos corn chips again, huh, little fella? The Frito Bandito's days were numbered. After continued protests, TV stations started refusing to show the character. He was retired in 1971. After the retirement of the Frito Bandito, Frito Lay introduced the Muncha Bunch, a trio of cowboys. Unfortunately, very little is available about these characters, though they were also featured as a pencil topper. Frito Lay found a bit more success with their next mascot. They introduced W.C. Fritos. W.C. Fritos here with a free offer. The character was based on vaudeville comedian and star of the silver screen, W.C. Fields. Now stand clear, boy, and keep your eye on the ball. Uh, just as I thought, it's warped. The character was a hit and soon began appearing on merchandise. Six packs of Fritos featured an autographed poster of W.C. Fritos. Fans could even mail away to join W.C. Fritos Munch Club. Memberships came with a certificate, stickers, and a secret manual. And of course, W.C. Fritos appeared as a pencil topper. Despite his success, W.C. Fritos didn't stick around much longer. Though they featured a variety of mascots, Fritos have not had one since the 1970s. Fritos now appear in a variety of flavors around the world including barbecue, spicy jalapeno, and chutney. Perhaps one day, Fritos will introduce a new mascot. Or bring back one of the old ones. Though, maybe it shouldn't be the bandito. Thank you for watching the latest episode of Brand Management. Please like this video and subscribe.